I don't know if you guys are old enough, but you remember the Barbara Walters special? Used to come in on New Year's Eve. Barbara Walters used to have this special, Max, because I know you're too young. She used to interview the top five most popular people for that year. Normally an entertainer, a business person, a political person, somebody of that nature. It normally was about three or four people that she used to interview. And it was on New Year's Eve. Most people would rather be out partying. They knew the target, the people that were staying home waiting for the ball to drop because it came out at like 10 or 11 o'clock before the ball dropped before you clicked over the... So, the one thing that I emphasize to people, why would people tune in on New Year's Eve to watch this special? Because those five people that she interviewed normally have been interviewed numerous times that year because Life Magazine, Rolling Stone, you could have caught their interview anywhere. And what made her interview different was because how she connected and related. She would always ask the more tougher questions than anybody else. Because why, what would happen? In the beginning, you would see the way she set it up was beautiful. She would come to their house, their big house, normally people had a big house, or you know, they, they're most popular people that year, they made money. She would go to their house. She would tour the grounds. Some people would show her the cars. Some people would, she would go through and she would like, hmm, yeah. So she would connect and relate with them. Next thing you know, she, you would see how they would set up the setting somewhere in their house in the living room. She had them do it at their location, not hers. So they already were comfortable there. So now she came in and she became comfortable with you because you knew that she was going to hit you with the hammer. She was going to come with the questions. Most people would sit there and say, how many times you heard, you're not going to make me cry, Bob. You're not going to make me cry. Right, right before the interview. Because they know it's coming. And you could see the setting, somewhere in their living room, they would have this whole studio set up with the lighting and everything, you know, and she would sit down and, you know, she, she would start off and she would be like, she would say, hey, how you doing? And then, and then she goes, how long you been wanting to be a woman? <laughs> I changed. You know, it's like, it's like she would do it every time. It's because she asked tougher questions. She connected and relate. Her interview was more uh, entertaining than most people because she asked, what? Questions. More questions. It's no different. She's a person just like everybody else they interview, but she asked more questions and more detailed questions to get the emotional trigger out of them. And that was the entertainment. To watch this entertainer sweat, cry, whatever she had them do by the end of the interview, they were like, I just want to thank you, Barbara. It's a guy sobbing wet. It's because she knew how to do that. And that's one of the things I try to emphasize with people when we sell. Get to the point on emotional triggers with them and you can get them to move wherever you want. Okay? Thanks, guys. Step number five, set up the presentation. Set up the offer. Ask, if I could, would you? Just start using that statement wherever you go. This is Ben Brown. Click like, subscribe, and share these videos.